Deshaun Jackson, who was facing some major blowback after the Eagles receiver posted what he believed were quotes from Adolf Hitler that promoted vicious anti-Semitic stereotypes about Jews secretly controlling the world. The quotes actually turned out to be fake, and Jackson has since apologized, claiming it was a mistake and he doesn't hate anyone. Eagles are still figuring out how to handle the situation. So, Acho, what do you think the Eagles should do here? Man, this is a topic, Marcellus, that we had to address. Yes. To the point where I uh, called the producers and said, hey, move this to the top of the show. Because we would both be remiss if we were to have our own platforms where we mm. talk about racial reconciliation. Yeah. But then when it comes time to talking about prejudice that may not directly affect us, we sweep it under the rug. Preach. So Preach. let's just take it head on. Um, ignorance is no longer acceptable in any shape, in any form of any kind. Uh, ignorance is no longer an excuse. Ignorance may be an explanation, mm. but ignorance is not an excuse. When I think about Deshaun Jackson and what Deshaun Jackson did, you're too grown, you're too old, and you should be too educated to make these type of offensive mistakes again. You should be too educated to make these type of mistakes. Mm. Now, I trust Deshaun Jackson to beat me on a go route all day. Huh. I trust Deshaun <laughs> Jackson's knowledge of the doctrine of an NFL playbook. But do I trust Deshaun Jackson's theology of an Old Testament? Not so much and not so fast. But I want to do something, bro, because we have to talk about intention. Come on. We have to talk about intention. Mm. There's a difference between first-degree murder, which is premeditated, second-degree murder, which may be a heat of passion, and involuntary manslaughter, which was an incidental yet still unlawful act. When I think about Deshaun Jackson and what he did, I relate that to involuntary manslaughter. Because I don't think Deshaun Jackson meant to offend anybody. Hmm. I don't think Deshaun Jackson was knowledgeable <laughs> about exactly what he was doing. But the problem is, he still did it, and that is unacceptable. However, let's get to the point. There we go. Let's get to the point. All right. For I'm done with cancel culture. Hmm. Are we going I'm, all done, the way? I'm done with, man, Deshaun Jackson. <laughs> what did he just say? Let's be done with them. Because what cancel culture doesn't do, Marcellus, it doesn't educate. And it doesn't allow room for growth. I received an email two weeks ago. I started this, this show called Uncomfortable Conversations with a Black This man. show and I, is I major. Received, <laughs> I received an email from this woman in Canada. Mm. And she said, Emmanuel, thanks so much for these episodes you started. I've never been able to have conversations like these because I don't know any Negroes. I said, whoa, whoa, Wait. whoa, whoa, whoa. Pump the <laughs> <laughs> I said, wait a second now. now hold on. I now. said, hold up. it's not appropriate to call black people to call me a Negro. However, mm. I know you didn't mean anything by it, so I'm going to educate you so you don't make the same mistake again. Mm. That's what needs to occur right now. Deshaun Jackson needs to face his Twitter punishment, and the <laughs> Eagles need to punish him as they deem fit and as they see fit. However, cancel culture mm. is <laughs> idiotic. Because it doesn't allow for growth. Because remember, when you think about the question on the floor, what should the Eagles do? I was in the Eagles locker room in 2013. Hold on. Somebody else was there. I, a, a man by the name of Riley Cooper. Ooh. I was in the Eagles locker room in 2013. One Great. receiver, Riley Cooper, goes to a Kenny Chesney concert right before training camp and says, I'll whoop all you N-words huh. with the hard ER. Huh. And if you know anything, you know the hard ER is a little bit different. Riley Cooper's punishment he got five days off of training camp. Riley Cooper's punishment, he balled that season, got a five-year, $25 million extension. Now, two wrongs do not make a right, and I don't think the Eagles necessarily handled that Riley Cooper situation properly, but my biggest regret, Marcellus, was that I never sat down with Riley and said, hey, bro, do you know why what you said was wrong? So when you talk about this Deshaun Jackson incident, it's not just enough to have an apology for hmm. D-Jack. Yeah. He needs to pick up the phone he needs to call somebody who can educate him. He needs to talk to a Jewish brother, a Jewish sister, and be like, hey, bro, hey, sis, educate me, because clearly I don't know enough. Man, you said oh, so much, so many golden nuggets in there. And I, I just want to pick some of the parts and just follow your, your lead. You started with education, you ended with education. Mm -hmm. uh, in his pursuit to find, to seek Whatever he was looking for in terms of trying to explain some of the issues going on in his life, his community life, and people of his likeness. All of the systemic issues that everyone's trying to address right now. It starts with an education. Mm -hmm. And your education has to be deep. It has to be intent. Uh, there are people who have PhDs who do this on the daily and are still out there 
being unheard versus a guy who has a platform because he can catch the ball correctly. And everyone's listening to the guy who catches the ball instead of the people on the ground who actually know what this is about. Mm -hmm. So when it starts and ends with education, you got to understand if you're Deshaun Jackson, who says something that was ignorant. And ignorance is no excuse. I grew up hearing that. I grew up knowing that. Deshaun, you have to be educated to talk about this. And mm -hmm. educated doesn't mean you have a voice, you have a platform. That's what social media has done. It's empowered everyone to think that they're educated. One of the greatest articles I've read of late is... Uh, the intelligentsia cannot think. Mm -hmm. And it's in the Washington Post, great article that talks about how people have been dumbed down because now they all have a voice and they think that they sound smart. Deshaun was wrong, completely wrong. I have nothing to say about that more. Then he doubled down on being wrong because he gave out, as, as Bo Wolf even talked about, the, the empty apology <laughs> and the, the sin of the empty apology, as he states, is focusing on the offense taken rather than the content and context of what he did Correct. that was so objectionable. Mm -hmm. I wish people would understand this. I posted about this maybe a month ago about how people are so quick to rush out of their contrition, out of their apologetic state because they just want you to forgive them. But what did you do? Mm -hmm. I need you to own it before you disown it. Own what you did and what you really meant in that moment. And that was not fully understood, even in his apologies. Deshaun's a friend of mine. Mm -hmm. And I, in my family, we go even harder at our family and friends than we do as strangers. Because you are a part of the family. But Deshaun made a misstep, complete egregious misstep in what he said. And you talked about it. Intent. What was his intent? And I understand how you're trying to measure the penalty against him because of the intent. But I learned a long time ago that it's not just intent, it's effect. Mm -hmm. Intent has to be weighed with effect. What's going to be the consequences of this? And let's talk about that. The Eagles made a statement, and I'm going to have to translate this to you guys, because he already posted the ignorant post and apologized and showed contrition. I know he feels the pain of what he said, but this is what the Eagles said. We are continuing to evaluate the circumstances and we'll take appropriate action. Everybody out there, you know what that means? You guys, your sentiments determines his sentence. Mm -hmm. Your response, your reaction, your outcry will determine the consequences. The Eagles are not done with this situation, nor maybe should they, because as you said in the beginning, it's about education. It's okay to apologize. It's okay to do something wrong. Not this wrong, but hey, you did it. But we need to educate you, something that even in your Riley Cooper conversation wasn't fully done. Education needs to occur. What do you think the punishment should be? Woo! And you're talking about, look, it, it can't be slap on the wrist. It has to be heavy-handed. But now we're getting into what the apology, what the, what the consequences will be. Let me answer this, maybe taking you through relationships. Mm -hmm. Saying something that is offensive, and we know what he did, is not the only indiscretion you have to be on the lookout for. It's what's offensive, but also what hurts people, what polarizes, and what divides. So now I'm looking at what should we do with Deshaun Jackson in the NFL? And we can't be hypocrites. You talk about the Riley Cooper punishment. He was rewarded with a new contract. Facts. <laughs> I mean, Facts. like, he had to apologize to the team, apologize to the community, took a few days off, and came back and got some more money. This is a different time. This is a different era. This is a different climate. So it won't be the same punishment. It's going to be harsher. But what should we do with Deshaun Jackson when we're looking at an NFL that is also in partnership, in conversation, in relationship with things that polarize, that divide, and that also hurt people that are offensive? I'll give you this example. Black Lives Matter and a tweet that is on the NFL's timeline. Black Lives Matter that came out of Goodell's mouth and in partnership and some speculation of how they're going to continue that relationship. They are known as offensive to some in the NFL. There are 1,800 men on that field, many of them fathers. In the Black Lives Mission statement, there's a mission of those same fathers mm -hmm. in the new disrupted Western nuclear family. So what are you doing reconciling that situation where you're in partnership and you've talked about supporting something that is actually trying to omit or undermine what you have on the field in terms of men and what they pride themselves as fathers? 
Colin Kaepernick comes to mind. And Colin Kaepernick and them pursuing that relationship would love to work with Colin Kaepernick. No matter what your beliefs are on Colin Kaepernick, when he comes out, <laughs> what is it, 4th of July? Starts off, black people have been de dehumanized, brutalized, criminalized, terrorized by America for centuries and are expected to join your commem commemoration of independence while you enslaved our ancestors. We reject your celebration of white supremacy and look forward to liberation for all. We do. First of all, none of us should speak for all of us. Mm -hmm. So that's already an issue right there. And then if your job, like if Colin Kaepernick is employed right now by the race industry, you're going to now employ and partner yourself with someone who says this. Now, there are 30 white owners sitting there, and you're trying to partner with an organization that is eradicating white supremacy. And everyone's wondering why Jerry Jones is not speaking right now. I wonder as well. My point of all of this is saying the same guy, uh, Colin Kaepernick, who used to post, happy 4th of July, everyone, I hope everyone has a blessed day, has flipped that script to where he is now. Fine, respect to that. But what is the NFL stance going to be when you're talking about someone who is polarizing, dividing, and you're talking about an organization that's doing the same to your own constituents, your own people, your own players? I ask you this. If your left hand's going to come down heavy on Deshaun Jackson, is your right hand also going to partner with organizations that are doing the same polarization? I'm with you. And I think, for me, it comes down to this. The Eagles have to make a decision. They have to. Now, that decision does not have to mean, and it better not mean, terminating Deshaun Jackson's contract. Hmm. Because that doesn't do anything for growth of anybody. Hmm. That does nothing. For me, it's really simple. Education, not just on what matters to you, but education on what matters to everyone. There you because go. the Effect. problem is we only educate ourselves on the things that are important to us. Prior to this show, I called up my friend, a Jewish man, played in the NFL for, for 10 years. I said, hey, bro, why was what Deshaun Jackson did so offensive to you? Because I want to learn the pain that you are talking about. As a man, if you were to ask me, hey, bro, is pregnancy painful? I'd say, yeah, I think so. <laughs> but my work don't matter that much because, one, I'm not a woman, nor have I ever given birth. Mm. So no matter how much I want to empathize, I can't fully empathize because I haven't gone through that situation. With that being said, you have to fully be able to understand and fully educate because I'm tired of involuntary manslaughter emotionally. It's not enough anymore. Ignorance? We can't let it slide. Well, we, we can't let it slide, but let's just go there. Like, there's too little education with people who have too many followers. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so that's why I, I tell people all the time, I am not a role model, not because I'm irresponsible with my platform. It's because if you're letting me raise your child, you're doing yourself a disservice. You need to keep all of this information circular in your own home. You need to breed. You need to read. You need to plant seeds in your own familiarity and grow that. And it takes time for it to bake. And that time is the education. You can't just go through Google, read one article, see one video, and think you know it all. And, and so, look, I'm not mad at social media because it transmits amazing messages across the world in a millisecond. The problem is... Too many people are saying things out of turn, out of context, that have not fully educated themselves. Don't lean on the people who are truly educated. Those people have fewer followers. And then the ones who are out there looking at those guys, oh, well, Deshaun said it, so it may or must, must be, be true. true. Facts. And that's where we are in this vicious cycle of ignorance. And look, I'm very proud that I went to an Ivy League school, but that doesn't mean I'm a genius or more intelligent than you. Trust me, I've run into some guys who went to junior colleges. I'm like, damn, why'd you go there, dog? You're smart as hell, smarter than me. My thing about it is we're getting lost and we're trying to now give accreditation to people who haven't earned it. I just wish everyone had a narrow scope. When you have a issue, if it's political, Go to the political scope and balance out your conversation. Don't be so binary. I'm liberal. I'm conservative. I'm Republican. I'm Democrat. As soon as you think you know what it is, find the counter argument and try to beat up what your beliefs are in the beginning. If we start to do that, 
we'll be more educated as a people. But unfortunately, Deshaun's going to have to fill the wrath of this one because this is not 2013. And this is an indiscretion that you just can't dismiss.